Today we're here with the one and only exclusive. I got caught out of basically retirement to come and do this podcast live. One of the world's biggest breeders in the world, Mr. Busachi Light himself, DCF Bulls, Manuel Samora. This guy is a true legend, inspiration to a lot of people out there. And this man is very humble. We're here to get facts, questions asked by all you people out there that want to know, you're going to know. So we're going to get down to the nitty gritty today and we're going to make this thing happen and crack. Make this podcast jump off. It's going to go down and we're going to give you guys the best interview possible on his behalf at his beautiful home. And uh, we're going to get going. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, my G. Let's go. Let's get in. So... Out the Kennel. Out the Kennel. This is Out the Kennel Podcast. For all you guys wanting to know, quick question. How many breedings does Basachi and Beef have now out the gate? Like, what are, I mean, worldwide, let's just talk numbers. How many breeds do you think you've done with Basachi first? Basachi. Basachi has over a thousand breedings, easily. Over a thousand documented breedings. Everything was documented. I have all the proof. Beef surpassed Bulsachi in breeding. Wow. Yeah, he surpassed Bulsachi in breeding. Well, okay. So, um, it's been a blessing. Everything's been documented. I log in everybody's information. You know, once they lock in a stud, I put it all down, take all their information and whatnot. So everything's documented, you know? Yeah, over a thousand breedings each. Easy, you know? And, and, and during those, the process of those breedings, were a lot of them, like, say, just shipping worldwide, shipping locally, I mean, how did you get so many breedings taken care of? Because you know, a lot of people want to know that. They, yeah. Hey man, did you have a guy FedExing, UPSing them? Was there a certain way that you handled your, you know, the semen to make sure that it was good for them to breed so they wouldn't come up with their, you know, like these guys nowadays, they yeah. come up with their lies, the say that the bullshit that they didn't get a fucking breeding and they really did. So what what sets you apart from a lot of the breeders? Because you've been very successful of, like I said, here, here's the juice, go do what you gotta go do. And people are creating foundation litters, yeah. uh, hitters. We wouldn't be here if that was not the, the truth or the facts. What team do you have that solidifies in boxes, dry eyes? What is your method of getting Busachi and beef out there to whatever part of the, and the farthest breeding you have to set? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so if they're from out of the country, I'd have them fly their female. In. That's, okay. that's the best way. I don't ship out semen. I don't do any of that frozen semen shit. Okay. I don't really trust it. It works for some. Yeah. I don't trust it. So I'd have them fly their female. I take, I personally take care of their female or they could, you know, stay at a hotel and execute their breeding life. Um, I've had t plenty of times where I would house their female, zero cost. I'd fucking take care of the dog overall feed and everything. Yeah. We do the breeding, we do the testing, everything's documented for them and they pick them up when they're pregnant. So I've, I've done that plenty of times. So you do the pedestrian, you do Correct. the test. Correct. Is it more AIs or surgicals? Surgical. That's your surgical. Everything's surgical. And that's the cleanest way you guys out there. If you really want to know and, and mess with the top breeder, especially if sperm is getting delivered to your home with any kind of extender or whatnot, you definitely want to do a surgical and take it to a real vet. Yeah. A lot of these backyard dudes don't know what they're doing. Get to a vet and get to somebody that can, you're paying top dollar, pay the extra two, three hundred dollars to do a surgical. Don't be cheap now, you know what I mean? And that goes with the whelpy. Now a lot of these guys, and they, hey, all my puppies died. Your puppies died because you didn't have the right whelper. They didn't suck them out. They didn't call you in enough time, like two, three days, they can die. So you need to make sure the dogs don't uh, get infections and stop breathing and get respiratory. All in all, stop being fucking cheap. Yeah, right stop. Way. Yeah, they're do being it cheap. Do the right way. Yeah. You know, a lot of these dudes want to do a fucking AI. I've been hearing that shit lately, nowadays. That's why I do AIs and that's all it. Right, look, could I get it three AIs? Motherfucker, you're in the wrong spot. No, no AIs. Test your bitch. Make sure she's healthy. Yeah. We could execute a surgery. No AIs. You feel me? Do not blame the whopper for everything, in my opinion. Yeah, they no, gotta whop their own fucking litters themselves. You wanna Definitely. be a breeder? You gotta go to the full extent. A to Z. Just Take don't care be, of your own fucking dog. Don't be cheap though, guys. Oh, I gotta work and this and this and that. You knew that shit before you spread the dog. Don't be cheap. Don't be fucking cheap. Quick, another question that people are asking, and I'm pretty sure you, you know what I mean? And, and this goes here for me, okay. as you know, like I said, I, I know you 20 plus years, you're my boy. As a fan, 
and, and having beef blood in my yard, it's kind of like, oh, you know, it's kind of different, you know what I mean? How does it feel to be globally at the top of this dog game right now? I mean, how do you feel like people you don't even know mention your name, they know who you are, they know your they know your fucking productions and they know they're fire and you be, not only that, consistent. You're coming out with hitters. Like you're just like slapping fools around where a lot of guys have been in the game and they're top beers, but they have the same hitter for seven, eight years. Yeah. They don't know how to, you know what I mean? So how does it feel to be globally known now? You know what I mean? On that level. And, and you know what I mean? And and and, and, I, and, I, and I'm going to be real with you. I really don't think you know how fucking globally you are because I know you from humble forever. beginnings. Yeah, forever. Yeah, so I, I, it has never changed you. The money, nothing hasn't changed you. You're still the same, the same cat. Life. Yeah. See, a lot of people don't know that. So this man, I don't think you really know, brother. Like I said, we got people around the world that want to meet you and talk to you and chop it up. You got people from like Spain. You got people from Hawaii, the Philippines, uh, Switzerland. I mean, people that, hey, that's bull, beef, what? Do you see that They want to know you. So how do you feel? Like, how would you tell your audience right now? How, how does it feel, man? You know, like, to yeah. get it out there. It's, it's humbling to get to the point that I'm at. You know, it's humbling. Sometimes I really don't grasp it. We had a private conversation right now before anything and yeah. about the same thing and it yeah. just led back to the same thing that it's humbling G. it's really humbling uh, sometimes i don't even believe it i'm like what the fuck you know i have to kind of wake up and, and realize where i'm at you know what i'm saying yeah but being that you don't change through time no matter what's thrown at you you know you kind of tend to forget the elevation the part of elevation like you're elevating but yet you remain the same humble so that kind of you know what i'm saying hopefully it makes sense what i'm saying man i think if, if I, it I, don't I, make I, sense salute the goddamn hand but you know what I think it is and what you're saying in a nutshell? All the hard work you keep doing and you yeah. keep, see, you don't sleep, you're working. Yeah. You've never stopped. So I think that has superseded of you actually acknowledging the globalicity of what's going on in your life, how you're looked at in this world dog game because you just keep doing you. Yeah. You're a yeah. family man, you're a husband, you're a father, grandpa, so, a lot of people don't know that about you. So they don't know that the hustle, it's like it's your job, but it's your passion, and it's the love, you love what you do. And you're actually one of the few men that get to wake up every day that had turned the passion into a job to take care of his family. And a lot of guys don't get that. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't understand that, that, that part. Since you knew what to do, since even on the MSN boards, before there was even an ABKC registry, this man was a pet head. He was very quiet, very calculated. He did certain moves that were gonna make or break him and he started putting out productions that even back over 20 years ago, set him up to where he's at today. And that's what it took because you need to be doing calculated moves in this game. And you got to have your ear and your pulse literally to what's going on out there to survive. You don't need all that hype. You don't need all that cap. You don't need to be yelling. You don't need to be saying you're a drug dealer or you're this or you're that. This man has always worked to take care of his family to do and get where he's at. That's why I'm very honored to be with this man and be blessed to do this interview. I'm beyond humble, my G. And I, and I know Ralphie for a long time. I know Ralphie, so. For those who don't know him, I know, I've known him forever. So that's one of the few that are in my circle, you know what I'm saying? So We go way back, that. we go too far back. A lot of people want to know, okay, so creating Busachi beef and, 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 and panic and hitter, what are the traits that you looked for in a dog? Say, hey, you know what? This is what I want from Musachi yeah. to help me create these traits that's going to keep me relevant in the dog game. What'd you look at and go, hmm, like, what yeah. gave you that? You know what I mean? Those, those, those visions. The body, bro. The body. When I created, I mean, when I created Musachi, I had obtained a female. Everybody starts by buying a female. They either give you a female or you buy your own female. I bought a female, I bred her. It was a uh, stigmata. I bred her, got fairy tale, bred fairy tale to Bosachi's dad, and I created Bosachi. As soon as I got Bosachi, I already had the vision on what I could get. 
Yeah. Based on the direction I was going with that female. It, it worked. I had you. my vision, bro, and I speak my shit into existence, and, it, and it's a blessing that it works. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he came out exactly like I envisioned. After that, it was, it, it was just, for me, it's been all about the body. The body, the whole complete package, the body. I don't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck about the head at the moment. I, it's just the body. I need the body, because most of these dogs from way back lack body, bro. Yes. Lack body. We did. We so do like it. So I tried to, you know, I, I'm just, I just love the body. So I went for the body, the front, the head came in, everything came in together with Bosachi. And after that, I used that as a tool to keep creating that same look. If a stud don't look that way, that stud is there for a purpose, whether it's color, whether it's genetics, but I'm going to pull him out one way or the other. Yeah. To create him in the form that I envisioned. For example, a lilac bulsachi, a chocolate bulsachi, you know, it comes out, the blood works, you know? Definitely. The, yeah, so for me, it's the, the fronts, the bone, the Hummer fronts, the bone, the body, you know? And, 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 and one, one theory we have to clear up, everybody was like, oh, and it was going around, you know, a okay. little hate, you know? And it was like, how is bulsachi throwing color? And let me tell you, I'll be the first to tell you, I bred to Peter, and let me tell you, we bred to Peter, bought a dog off of Peter, I, I got a puppy, and not to throw him in your game, but we bred to, uh, uh, what was Busachi's dad's name again? Um, Bullseye. Bullseye. Bullseye comes from a long line of chocolates, reds, and he throws those colors. I had a female that was uh, Miss K, and I ended up selling her to uh, to ESB Exotic Bullies with um, uh, Art and them. Yeah, yeah. And they bought her and they took off with her. And it was a, a bullseye. So to answer everybody's question, if you guys would DNA any of Bullseye's dogs and some of the dudes from EOG, they have the proof of red, lilacs, and chocolates yeah, directly right. off of Bullseye. Yeah, so Bulsachi Sire yes. carries color. Those colors, exactly. Yeah. For those that don't know, Bulsachi Sire carries color, though he's not colored, he carries color. He carries it in yeah. them. That's so if you go way back, for those newbies, if you go way back, you know your shit. So that's why Bosachi, when he feels like it, he'll throw it. Color. <laughs> when he feels like it, so it's up to him if he's in a good mood. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. Not, but it just happens. Yeah, and so that's, that's to clear up the the, the, the rumor, the bullshit rumor that oh, is this and is yeah. that. Uh, no, I've been around too long, and I could I could verify, I could put my name and everything on it. I know this blood behind, but it's not. It's what he did with it now. And yes, he brought the color because it, it, it's inevitable. The color is in the pedigree. Yeah. So he cannot not tell the, hey, Musachi, don't give me a chocolate. Don't give me a lilac or I don't want no, you know what I mean, tan colored dog. You can't tell Musachi not what to throw. He's going to give you what you bred, you know what I mean, what he's, he's going to give you. Now, if you have a female that has that color, yeah. that color it's going to come, yeah. you know what I mean? So all you newbies that don't know, now you know, you need to do your homework, man. This is over 20 years of knowledge that's getting kicked down to you guys. And this man has, has done it all. Now I got another main question for you. As with the good and the ups and the downs, you know, it's like everything, brother. How do you deal with the hate? How do you, you know what I mean? I mean, cause you gotta remember, bro, like there's days, you know, you, you know, there's people that just shit on us yeah. for no reason, or they say your program's not this. And, it's, and, and you know, you gotta still walk in home and keep that smiley face. I'll drink to that one. You know what I mean? How do you, how do you, how do you handle the, 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 the hate when you gotta walk in that door and not let your family know, but you know you got it in your head? Because, yeah. hey, at the end of the day, it's like this. When God puts favor and blesses you, you got the devil wanting to come after you yeah. too. That's so you get yeah. the hate, you know what yeah. I mean? So you got both. You got both. God's always gonna, you know, gonna come come and give you the blessings. How do you handle it, brother? Yeah, well, as far as hate my G, I've been getting it all along, all along. It comes from the jump from way, way back. You know, it came from when I crossed over from Remy Line to Razor's Edge. And then I decided to, I had a vision. I decided to go more extreme. I, I went against the green. I've always been that type of person that goes against whatever the fuck the other man wants. Yeah. I do what I want. So. Um, I would like the freakier dogs when I was breeding Razor's Edge. And it was a big fucking sin at that time yeah. to, to get a dog with a kink. 
these fools would give out the dogs with a kink or, 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 or not in fronts, if any. Yeah. I, I, I glorify that shit, bro. I love that freaky shit. So Yeah, you I've were, always, you were always, into exotics, I think, before a lot of yeah, people were into yeah. exotics. So, so I would go for the freakier dog, bro. So when I jump from Razor's Edge to a freakier style dog, exotic style dog or whatnot, I got a lot of hate. I got a lot of hate. People don't know. It goes back to the same shit. A lot of these newbies don't know, but I owned a dog named Mutant. Bro, I had so much hate. I would argue day and night with these motherfuckers. I would be on there, bro, day and night, just going, you know, replying to their shit. Just, I wouldn't stop, bro. And I went like that for months. And I yeah. just finally said, you know what? I'm not going to feed into the shit. You know, um, I'm not going to feed into it because all that energy that I'm putting on these fucking clowns, I could use it towards my, my productions and towards where I'm really, you know, to where my main focus is at. So I learned how to just block it, not give a fuck, not look their way. You feel me what I'm saying? And to this day, I get a lot of hate, bro. They'll make up shit. They'll make up stories. Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll put a slick ass comment. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, you catch them. Yeah, so slick ass comments, bro. Shit like that, bro. And and they're just nothing but, but it's, it's, you know, they're nothing but bottom feeders, bro. They have no fucking life, bro. They have no life, bro. They just hate on the next man, bro. You know? Yeah, try to bring them down. So, so how do I deal with it? I take it to the chin, bro. I laugh and karma. There's this thing called karma, bro. I was in the shadows. Karma <laughs> catches them. Yeah, karma yeah. catches them. So I just let that bitch fucking get him, and that's that. While I just sit back, do my breathings. Well, you don't. Not sip a, on the hand. Salud. Hell yeah, salud, 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 salud man. But you know what? To be straight frank with you, you're kind of a one of the original fathers of exotics because like i said key words listen and this is shit me knowing you pay back yeah i don't give a fuck ralphie i want the freakiest dog i don't give a fuck this is 15 years ago and you would tell me the freakier the better, yeah, the better. It, it, and, and this was no bullshit i'm like where's he going with this i go man a lot of people are you're, you're kind of like a lot of people are gonna go and and look what he did that's where if you follow your vision, you stick to yeah, your plan to it. and you manalas those huevos, grab you know, grab your nuts and you hold on to it and you stick to that vision, yeah. like when you create it. That's what the crazy part. Cause I was scared, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, my boy is going in uncharted territory. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you're going into where it, it was not heard of, because you know the community still at that point was very small. Yeah. So it wasn't like we all like Everybody knew everybody or like, hey, what are you gonna do? Hey, what are you gonna do? And he did go like against you're a you're a you're a grain goer against her. Yeah. <laughs> you I know go what I mean? Yeah, yeah I you go, go against the grain yeah. and it paid off. Because yeah. you're here and you're yeah. relevant and you're globally relevant. So that's that's how you do it, my boys. And I'm humble, my G. And then like till till today, like people don't like line breeding or should I say inbreeding. Yes. I love to fucking inbreed. I love to inbreed. They go to the vet, they get checked. Everything's good, bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I like to inbreed. I like to line breed. I like to time that shit out, bro. I go against the green. But you make sure your female male are healthy on point. enough and on point on to point. do that. Always. See, a lot of these guys are just breeding a bulldog to a Frenchie thinking bro. that they're going to get what you got. And that's where that's where we need to tell these nah, bro, these you're new booties. More fucking health issues to these dogs, bro. That's what you're doing, bro. Bringing health issues, cysts, bad skin, heart problems, fucked up rears, just overall bad genetics. Yeah, bad genetics yeah. doing yeah. that. They don't know what they're doing. They're in, they're crossing totally separate. Yeah. Like the work was already done. Why fucking keep going back to to the same shit? Yeah. You know? Use, use, use the dogs wisely. People want to know, since, you know, like we said, we, we can call these people, we, we can actually call these people new booties. All these guys out there, all these guys doing podcasts, all these guys doing 18 right now, I think they're relevant. I hate to burst your bubble, but we're triple OGs. That's the bottom line. Like, it don't get any older than this that's been in the game. How long, from your standpoint, you think you could say, I've been a breeder? How many years? you could put on it. What do you mean? I yeah. Understand like, the question. How long have you been reading? Like I've been many? reading for a long ass time, bro. MSN boards before MySpace. Yes. Before all of that, you know what I'm saying? Before all of that social media shit. So you could say over 20 years. It's been a good while, bro. Yeah. I don't like yeah. to throw numbers, but it's been a good I know, while. Yeah. It's been a good while. It's been a minute. Yeah, because that's, that's where that's where we were. Because yeah. you came in strong yeah. out of nowhere when you, when you did get into the line and you came in yeah. 
with fire and you know Fabian and everybody and all of us and and there was only a selected few of us and like I said so um but like I said since I knew Memo and all that and everybody yeah. they're like come on Ralph you gotta come with the door like I only lasted two years at Remy Line and then you still stuck around you were in you, all the magazines yeah I was on all the magazines I was selling the, the bike, magazine and the bike, and the bike and yeah uh, I was selling the magazine I was doing it how can people get a hold of you on social media and etc what how can they make it more accessible? You know, I mean, are you the type, do you feel if they have a question or a problem, say they bred to your dogs, um, are you accessible to kind of guide them and get back to them and and help them? You know, like I said, if I'm gonna come and pay five, six Gs yeah. to use one of your studs, I wanna be able to, hey man, I wanna be able to get a hold of the man himself, the legend, you know? But like I said, you don't act that way. But if they're they need to do that, what are the what are the what, what do you use right now? TikTok, Instagram. What what's Instagram. what's the easiest accessible way to get a hold of it's you? It's Facebook and Instagram. Desert City's finest bulls underscore on Instagram. Manuel Zamora with that blue check mark. I had to get that for all the fucking haters that try to bring down the accounts. You gotta get that shit. You know. Yeah, what I'm verified. Saying? Yeah, you got to, bro. If not, you know what I'm saying. I, I've had like six different fucking accounts, bro. Brought down, so I got tired of that shit. We gotta get that done the right way. You feel me? What I'm saying? Hell yeah. But as far as that, that's how they could get a hold of me. Whenever they lock in a stud, I take in their information. I give them my personal information, all my accounts, and my personal line where they could have access to me at all times. Yeah. So that any questions, anything they need to get, you know what I'm saying? It's right there. They they, they got access to. Me. I had actually a buddy that. He went through a divorce and uh, he paid for a beef stud. Actually, two beef studs. I guess when you first open up beef and he just had to show you, hey, you told him, show me the proof and I will honor it. He went back, got yeah. the proof yeah. and he honored it. And this was a, maybe a four-year-old lock-ins. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? When you, you go, hey, he's like 1500 bucks right now or whatever, opening. No, this when, he like, was a puppy. when he was a puppy. Yeah. Like, he wasn't even really open for stud. Like, if you guys want to get an early lock-in, yeah. this is how much I know how great this dog's going to be. Yeah. He did two studs. Yeah. Lucky you, whoever got that, man, because you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was lucky. And, and you know what's crazy, Manuel, is that he found the paperwork. Appreciate you. And you were able to honor it. Because you, like you said, paperwork, men lie, women lie, paperwork never lie. It never lies. It never lies. Yeah. And that goes for y'all, you dirty ass motherfuckers <laughs> out there watching too. Yeah. Men trouble. lie, women never lie, paperwork too. never lies. So if you got your paperwork, get it right. Video the female. Uh, people are like, yeah. oh, well, I only had one dog. How do we know? Um, that's why it's good to film. And then they want to repeat after one dog, and then you had six dogs, and then you want to get another breeding, and you know there's a lot of shady people out there. Yeah, in this you got you 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 got to protect your investment. Yeah, protect the investment. Document everything, video proof. Show video proof of the surgical, showing time, date, the entire dog, an update, and whatnot. If a dog dies, document it. Protect your fucking investment. It's that easy. If you didn't yeah. protect it, that's your bad. That you heard easy. it first. Yeah. Because a lot of you guys out there don't do that. And this yeah. is what, what needs to be done to solidify a breeding with top breeders. They don't got time to, hey, well, you know what? This is not sympathy stories. Business is business. And when you're doing business at a high caliber of these level of breedings, you should know, you should document, hey, I got vet papers. I film it, film the dog. One puppy only coming out, she passed away. Whatever the scenario is, document it by recording. We all got a phone and it's very easy to, hey, yep. hey Manuel, look what happened, man. This is look, this is today's date, she died. Whatever the case, the breeding didn't take. Here's the ultrasound. Yep. Look at this is the same female that I sent you and you're gonna be able to move on. This, this man's gonna be able to bless you with the other breeding, a repeat. But if you're not gonna document your stuff correctly, I wouldn't give you nothing either. You're gonna get the finger. Yeah. You know what I mean? So document your shit right, newbies. Yeah. You know, and that goes for anybody. Anybody else trying to be shady. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. there's a lot of shady yeah, people that you don't even know. Now. Yeah. Especially right now. Ooh, man. All of them fucking uh and one of them chicks called the 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 loan that loan that. What is that called? You in the back, you in the back. <laughs> 
the stimulus check. Oh, there's, yeah, the there's stimulus. a lot of the stimulus yeah. babies out yeah, there. Yeah, stimulus. They got a little stimulus check. Now they're and now the stimulus is gone. Hey, my G, for real. I seen a lot of that shit. And you know what? Thank you. I'm humble. I took a lot of those checks. Super humble. Some of you knew how to do it. A lot of you don't know how to do it. I'm seeing a lot of these motherfuckers sell all their shit because they couldn't do it. They thought it was gonna be easy to just fucking get a dog and flip it. No. Nope. You gotta have a vision. You gotta love these fucking dogs, bro. Yo. This ain't a quick buck. You gotta love these fucking no. dogs. You know? It's not about obtaining a dog, going to a fucking dog show, screaming with the dog in the fucking air, talking about you got the best. My boy, that's not how you win. That's how you win. You gotta love the dog. You gotta put time, money, effort into this, but you gotta love the dog first. You gotta, and if you can't feed your dog, don't breed the dog. Uh, if no. you're not working a legitimate job and you can't feed these dogs yeah. the way they deserve to be fed yeah. on a consistent, you shouldn't even be a breeder, man. They That's just do, the bottom line. And they got to do tests. They yeah. got to learn how, you know, pay progesterone tests, vet, vet, you know, visits and all of that. Yeah. Shit, bro. They can't be cheap. You can't be cheap with this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn how to take hits to the chin, bro. You know, there is losses. They won't tell you about that shit, but there is fucking losses. And when you lose, bro, don't cry. Don't give up. If you do, that's on you. I lost my son. He lost his son. Many of you don't. Many of you, some of you know, some of you don't. We're still fucking here, bro. Got to push for the rest of the family. Fuck yeah. We lost a son and, and we're here. So, R.I.P. Joseph. What's your baby boy's name? Ryan. Ryan. Salute, man. Fuck. We're right here. Holidays kill every day. Yeah. Holidays when you don't have your kids, you know yes, what I mean? Sir. But you gotta keep pushing. Keep pushing because we got my family. Female. My females don't take. They cry, they give up. We lost. He lost his son, I lost my son. Come on, man. Come on, suck it up, be a man. Yo. Quick, another question. So what do you think of the dog game today? New breeders, you know, et cetera. What do you, what do you think about the dog game today? In a whole, you know what I mean? Like everything that's going on. How do you, how do you perceive it? How do you look at it? There's a lot of people going in it for the wrong reasons. It goes back to what I just said. Yeah, totally. They are in it for the coin. They have to love the dog fucking first. You feel me what I'm saying? All that screaming at the dog shows, Picking up your dog, scaring the goddamn dog, bro. You're screaming <laughs> in the dog's fucking ear, bro. No one gives a fuck about that nasty ass, ugly dog, bro. Nobody gives a fuck. It's about the work you do when you put in them breeding, the time, the effort with them dogs. Not screaming at a fucking dog show. Stop screaming, bro. Stop screaming. Stop thinking it's a quick buck. You feel me what I'm saying? Nah, you're, you're, I've seen a lot of you Yo. selling your shit for cheap. Stimulus baby, <laughs> stop that bullshit. Yo. Stop the bullshit. Mm. God damn it. And I say that humbly. 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 Because you guys are fucking up the game. Yeah. But safe. only, but this is what's really gonna show who is who. Yeah. Right now in this time, it shows who's who. The real motherfuckers that have love for the breed. Yeah. The passion and the love for it, they're gonna stick around for yep. many years to come. And there is. There's, the dog game is not going anywhere. It's here to stay, bro. It's here yeah. to stay. It ain't going nowhere. The only ones that are going somewhere are the fucking cons, the fucking money hungry bastards, the overseas fucking. There's a lot of people from overseas. Uh, Let me touch that. A lot of people. Uh, fuck, man. Overseas people. They're trying to be con. They're, they're con artists. They're yeah, con artists, yeah. Bro, don't make me put out a name. They got me. God got damn me. it. Con yeah. artists, bastards. Bro, there's a lot of con artists. A lot yeah. of shady ass motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, there is. So, so that's pretty much like for new breeders and all that stuff. What advice you want to give any newcomers? Like somebody that just get in the game fresh and say they got money. Yeah. Say they have a good job. They're not selling weed. They're not drug dealers. Okay. Like what everybody in the world tries to perceive us as. Yeah. Because that's the problem with yeah. you guys. You guys always want to smoke weed and have uh Beer and weed and the gun and all this stuff. This is normal. Beer. He didn't say Kanye. Yeah, Kanye. You know what I mean? We're, we're talking about upper level, out. top notch drinks. We're not talking about a damn Budweiser cat. But a lot of you guys are out there putting guns, a bag of weed, yeah. and then you're like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a drug dealer slash 
uh, dog breeder. Dog and breeder. you're not going to last because all you're doing is hurting the game and hurting the reputation Bring it, uh, Yeah, the, the reputation. Correct. I, I, I completely agree. What advice would you give to these cats? You got to, you know what? Get yourself a good female. Get yourself a really good, solid female. Know who you're buying from. Do your homework. Don't just buy because you've seen a pretty ass dog on the internet, bro, on Instagram. Especially, I've been seeing a lot of these Instagram breeders, bro. Oh, yeah. They go around with their little cameras following them around and shit and all of this crap, acting like they're somebody. 99% of you, I don't even know. I don't even know them, G. They're fake. Yeah. There's a lot of these fakes. And then the, you got these people thinking that they're somebody. They're not. No. Do your homework. Do your homework. Ask questions. Ask the next man. Ask the next breeder. And then you'll find out. You know what I'm saying? Closed mouth never gets fed. So ask questions. Get a good dog from a good reputable breeder. Somebody that, you know, good foundation. A solid dog that 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 is your vision. And, and breed smart, bro. Don't breed stupid. You feel me what I'm saying? Get yourself a bull satchel line dog. You see a bull. You already know. Woo! Change your life. You know what I'm saying? It will. It'll change your life. Fucking will. Fucking will, man. And that's no bullshit. What do you think of people that use your studs and are quick to call it their line? Oh. How do you, you know, any, you know, how do you feel about, you know, they bred to your dog and, you know what I mean? Now they want to say, hey, this is Musachi line. The key phrase for all you guys out there, this man created it. Hummer fronts, yeah. and you guys use this very like same like taco, and a lot of you guys go out there and go, hey, if this dog doesn't have Hummer fronts, I'm not fucking buying it. But this is the man that created the Hummer fronts, Musachi, Musachi line. So you're talking about Hummer fronts. You, you, you see Wide. it right there, Why knotted up, functional. You need to patent that name because it is loosely used in the community globally, the, the Hummer fronts. People go, I want a dog with Hummer fronts. Hummer front. And you created that phrase saying it, you know, hey, Busachi line, no line, line, Hummer fronts. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a, I didn't mean to throw you off of that, but what do you think of people that breed to your studs and now want to call it their line? They want to now. It's not now. They're, 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 now they're not saying it's Busachi line, and they're calling it Kaka or, line. the Kaka line, or you know, Mentira, Mentira's line. Bro, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to the people, dog. You cannot use a stud that I, you know, that I created and call it your line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. can't do that. For example, I bought a female, created a female, bred to, Bulsa, to Busachi's dad, and created Busachi. And out of Busachi, you know what I'm saying? He has over a thousand breedings. He made a name for himself, bro. That's a line in my opinion, with the look. You cannot get his look and call it your line, especially, especially a son. You yeah. can't do that. You can't call it your line. It just doesn't work that way, bro. The real ones know, the real ones know. You, yeah. can't, you can't lie, bro, you can't lie. So what, okay. I'm humbled about everybody that uses my dogs. I'm fucking humbled. Yeah. And if they create their own line with it, but you can- but how many generations do you feel you could say, all right, he bred to Basachi, he bred to beef. As one of the top breeders in the world, how do you, how would you say, okay, That's how many pedigrees down he could say, this is fucking low blow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what would so, you say to that now? Then? So this is a tricky question yet again. I'm going to answer it like this, G. If the dog... If a son off of Bosachi surpassed Bosachi in the owner's hands, look wise, his own different look, then I give it to him. Okay. You could, you could give it to him. I, I would give it to him. I, I, I would give it to him. If they don't, that's on them. But yeah, if you surpass his looks and you breed more than he was bred yeah, yeah. and have more offspring than him, yeah, you know, and everybody's using your shit, then I'll give it to you. Be like, oh damn, you created something else off my stud. I'm fucking flattered, I'm humbled, but you would call it that. But other than that, it'll take a few more generations. Yeah. To, you gotta, you know, have your own look. You have to have your At own least look. six, I, I'd say at least six generations yeah. down the line to say, hey, it's really your, we used to say three, yeah. just to, but that was back then when we needed to know any better. You know what I mean? But I think a true breeder to come out of the woodworks and say 
really physically, okay, I got my own look. Now I've incorporated it yeah. by getting this female, that female, and you know, and then using the, 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 the star from off of Versace or Beef and him breeding that. But on paper now, we got one generation, two generation, Correct. three generation up to six generations, then I think you can call it your own. And a lot of you guys out there, little boo-boo, new-boo breeders, and that goes for a lot of you guys, blacks, Mexicans, and whites, and Asians, you guys- All races. Be, all races, we're calling that all races. This is not a racist thing, just gonna say blacks are first. Ah, Mexicans, whatever, it don't matter. We all bleed the same red. But at the end of the day, all you guys are doing is with, oh, I bred one time, and then the second generation is your line. It doesn't. It doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. Not unless your dog booms. Yeah, unless your dog. Your dog has to boom. Yeah, your dog. It goes back to the same shit. Your dog has to be that dog. If you create a, a beast. Look like Maggie. I mean, I'm gonna I'm bring up a quick name, and we're gonna just like kind of end it without. Okay, killing it. Killing okay, it. Maggie. He came off of Marcelo. Right, Maggie brought something different. He used it, and it's his own look, its own stuff. That's it, right off the bat. He's his own stuff because he surpassed the dad. He surpassed, that's the reason why I give it to him. He surpassed the dad. Yeah. And, and they weren't doing shit with though with Marcelo. They yeah. locked that boy up and that's it. forgot about that's him. That's it. A double tough. So Sachi came along, he came out different. His dad was sold or whatever. And whatever and, 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 and. We still don't know what happened to his yeah, dad. Yeah, where is he at? Yeah. Hey, Sachi yeah. looking for his daddy. Where is yeah. that? Yeah, we want to tell him for it. Where the fuck? Nah, you haven't been around. He's all grouchy and shit. He been some weird ass boots with We want to tell him for it, man. We got to get him counseling. What <laughs> last question is that out here? You know, you know me. I got to throw these ones out go there. Go for it, go for it. What do you think now? And just between like, like me and you now, now we're going to have a little, little chat. Let's go. These are just questions I had to get out of the way for, you know, people that wanted to hear and pretty much get you out there. What do you think about all the division between registries? You know what I mean? You had IBR, ABR, ABKC, WBR, USBR. We got so many registries now. And before it was one show, one registry, we would get ready. I would do a podcast. As my podcast was going down, we were getting ready to go to that show for tomorrow morning. And it was cool back then. Yeah. You know, I had interview you. I had interview yeah, it was, uh, you. Know, what was what, it called? Uh, America's Bully Radio Show. American Bully Radio. Podcast. Now, actually, that was my first interview radio, you know, via radio. So, with Bosachi. Now we're doing a live podcast here, and it's going great. I don't even think you're going to need to edit anything, because you've actually been a professional, brother. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> no, nah, it's not me, dog. I want to thank the Henny. Yo, the I, Henny. And I ain't even getting paid, dog. Yeah, the sponsorship, dog. I ain't getting paid, <laughs> but it's the Henny. I want to say thank Dr. you. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> But what do you what do you think about that though? I mean, what do you think about the registry? So many you, registries. Do you think the registries now are trying to put a chokehold on certain breeders, or they're trying to be too political? It's always been political. It's yeah, it's always been political. Yeah. We know that. It's always been political. I think that it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing personally. It's a choice. Whoever wants to go with that registry, they could go with that registry. I think it's a good thing because you can see it's a piece of shit. Yeah. You feel me? Did over. It's American yeah, people. Like, like Bosace has, well, I mean, thousands of, of offspring, and you know, somebody you know, flagged me and shit, or, or sent fucking. They flagged or everybody. Whatever. They flagged everybody that was pumping out papers like crazy, and it wasn't even. You know what I'm saying? It's not even a, the tool we need, bro, because they stopped pumping out papers for the people. Yeah. Like 99% of the people don't even use UKC no more because of that. So I think that having other registries is a good thing. I think it's a good thing. It's about choice, who you who you want to roll with. You know, not not all of them are going to stick. Not all of them are going to stick. Survive. They're going to sink, bro. They're going to sink. They have to sink. So only the real ones will, will survive it. So, okay. uh, you know, I'm, I'm not all into registries like that, you know. So Yeah, yeah so cause, but, like I said, you really, like I said, you've shied away from that. And that's been one of your things, and I get it. To keep your, like you said, your vision is your vision, and breeding your dogs has been breeding your stuff and staying in your lane. Right. And I think that's what's kept you relevant and keeping you out of the politics has kept you more relevant. Because yeah. relevancy is not argumentative. 
And a lot of these people are very argumentative in the politics side. Bro, and you stay out happens, of, yeah. I stay out of it. Yeah. I stay out of all the politics, all arguments, all conflicts. I stay out of it, bro. I do me. I stay on my motherfucking lane, bro. I'm yeah. just too focused to... You're worried and, about the next something... Creating. You're creating. You're in the lab. That's where you've always been. Like yeah. I said, that's who I've always known yeah. you is you're masterminding what can you do to uplift the game or uh, explode with next. I, and for that, me. And, yeah, for you. And for your, me, for, yeah. For like, your like, crew, yeah, your like, team. It starts right here for me. If like, What could I do to, to better this dog? If they like it, they like it. If they don't like it, they don't like it. But I'm too busy trying to create my gym. Focus. Day and night. I go to sleep super late. A lot of people don't know that. Wake up fucking early. I'm consuming this shit, bro. I live and breathe this shit, bro. It's my passion. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, obviously it's paid off and you've been truly blessed yeah. by the bully gods and God himself. But the quick question for you. People want to know, and we, I want to know because yeah. I want to be there. And the guy, it's got to go down. When are we going to throw or have the very first Busachi show? And will you sanction it with any registry or you're just going to have a Busachi show period? Everybody just could come, a fun show? Or uh, do you actually want a show where people are going to get in the ring and show their dogs? I mean, what type of show does Manuel Zamora want to throw? What's your vision right there? My See, that's a different step out of what you normally do. Doing, so that's yeah. this is a very this is a very important question for this man. Yeah, he, you know, we need to know. Yeah. You got me. You got me. Not only did you give me, but this goddamn. Yeah, get, I'm, gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and answer that. My G. So I'm gonna throw my own show in January this coming year. I'll, I'll, I'll mention the date once it goes down, but it's gonna be in January. No registry on the first show. It's gonna be a DCF Bull show here in the Coachella Valley. No registry. Um, we're gonna show dogs, everything is gonna be different. No screaming, bro, will be allowed. Anybody that has their fucking dog in the air, bro, will get escorted out, bro. I don't allow that shit, bro. I think it's a fucking joke. It's a mockery to the to the bully community itself, bro. Yes. No, if, if, no disrespect to anybody, but that's not the way it should be. We got to conduct ourselves a lot better than that. Yes. A lot more professional than that, bro. So yes. No one will be allowed to do that shit. So it's not going to be a library show where everybody has to be fucking quiet. It's not going to be like Are that. you going to do the table stacking? We got to do the fucking stacking at the table. Hell yeah, my G. We got to keep it OG. That's OG. That's, yeah. That's good. Yeah, we're okay. Gonna do all the but then stacking. it is symbol. No, you can't do the symbol. Yeah, no, 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 you know what we're going to call that shit? You can't do the symbol. Yeah, no more symbol. None of that shit, bro. None of that fucking screaming dog. If you're going to scream, bro, you know what? I got a tia that sells tamales every Sunday, dog, down fucking Jackson Street, bro. You might want to go help her scream your lungs out to get some fucking customers. Other than that, bro, nah. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not allowed, bro. I, I just, I, 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 the community don't need that fucking embarrassment dog salute yeah salute now but i'm actually coming out now with the frenchies it's, they're called killer sa frenchies and with my friend ronnie alzevedo we're gonna be just i got the last teddy son before teddy passed away from roman empire bullies um he owns fudge balls all that but i got an inbred teddy son and no more like bullseye left an error Busachi to kill it. Uh, I think I got something special like that too. Teddy left an error and my boy Stormtrooper. So we're definitely gonna come for the Frenchie game with clean, correct, freaky, thick Frenchies. And I'm always gonna be OGWS and breed bullies, but I just wanna get into the Frenchie game and uh, try to see what I can do. But yeah. like I said, I, I uh, shout out, shout, shout out, out and yeah, then yeah. shout out to my boy from V Fan Bulls. My boy yeah, right there, he, he, he's not only a fan, he's a client, he, you know what I mean? He came to get some more knowledge today, and he's one of my best friends in the whole world. And, and he's sipping on and Henny he's on sipping the background, on Henny but you right can't there. see that shit, but and, he's uh, sipping on that Henny. And we were here he's with- He's smiling. He's smiling. Yeah. We, we also definitely want to thank the whole Zamora family, his daughter, his wife, oh, his baby. kids, everybody that has dealt with this man and put up with this man. Dog, it's easy. It, 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 you know what? Not in a bad way, but you know what? Without a team, you can't be a team. A family that prays together, 
stays together. Yeah. So you guys better recognize that. And uh, God has blessed this man very, very, very much. And hopefully, I wish you much more continued success, my brother. You're doing an awesome job. You're a family man, you're raising your kids and you're doing what you gotta do. And that's the main goal here, is to always incorporate Family, family into this because without family you cannot if you don't have somebody that's always, oh they want to go right and you want to go left you're always going to be in the crossroads it's a balance if, yeah you got to balance, balance. It's that balance. Uh, especially you, being a fucking yeah and being up there being globally yeah, up yeah. there and you know what i mean so uh, thank your family for everything they've done to support you and be a part of it because they're equally this team so thank you, family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Big old shout out to all the DC Bulls family. You already know everybody in the back. You know what I'm saying? Especially those in the back in here. Big old shout out to DC Bulls. You already know my son, Joseph. May, may he rest in paradise and shit. I do this for you, my son. The grind can't fucking stop. You already fucking know. You know what I'm saying? DC Bulls, Bulls side line, no motherfucking line. Big thanks to my boy, Ralphie and shit. From the double S. Nothing dog, less. Dog, I know this man for many, many, many years and shit. 20 so, years plus. Yeah, it's been a long fucking time. A real motherfucker and shit. If you don't know about him, do your research. If not, you're going to be seeing more of him and shit. He's going to MC the show and shit, the DC of both shows. So, you already know. It. Let's get it. Part two coming. Part, part two. two coming. Part two, Mr. Hummer Front himself. Versace line. Versace line. Let's get it, my G. Let's, Let's get, get it. it. This time we'll go live. Uh, yeah. This time we'll go even more raw and uncut. Yes, sir. And a little bit vicious. A little bit. I got something to say. Let's we, get it. We will get it. Let's go. DC a bull. Peace. You already know. Love, respect.